Hey guys, Baradus here and welcome back to Forever Stranded. Uh, so in the last video we set up some processing for the all the liquid metals we've been getting um, to turn them into blocks and ingots so that they're actually going to be useful to us. Uh, set that up in the basement, it's been running for a little bit now, it's looking pretty good. Um, and before that we got our rocket fuel set up. So today I want to have a look at getting our first launch pad set up and make, building our first rocket, hopefully. Um, and maybe even looking at doing a quick trip to the moon. I'm not sure how we want to go about doing that. Um, but yeah, so first thing I'm thinking, uh, these are the launch pads and the couple of bits and pieces we got from the last um, uh, quest that we did for Moving Worlds, the uh, launch. Uh, we had to craft a launch pad, fueling station, and an unmanned vehicle assembler. Um, and that gave us some more launch pads and um, some engines and a few other bits and pieces. And then our last quest is just to find a light wood sapling. So, with that in mind, I think we want to set up some auto crafting first. I'm envisioning that we'll have a couple of rockets, maybe. So it's probably going to be good to automate, auto craft um, fueling stations, launch pads, and so on. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with getting some auto crafting set up and then see how we go. Uh, so first, uh, let's see what we've actually got. Um, I don't think we have auto crafting for launch pads yet. So we might do that first. Uh, crafting. Launch pads. Uh, do we have crafting for concrete? Yes, we do. How much yellow do we have? Not a lot. How do we make it? Not easily. We can sag mill flowers, but we don't really have access to flowers. What's the additions? It's running dust. No. Uh, pulverizers, millstones. Right, so basically we need to get dandelions. Phytogenic insulator with phytogrow. Okay, we could probably do that. Energetic infuser, sawdust, nitre, and slag. Or regular phytogrow and bone meal. Regular phytogrow. Sort of sniter. Ah, and regular slag rather than rich slag. Okay, we could do that. We have charcoal dust and plenty of nitre, I think. Yeah, alright. Uh, we might look at doing that. Hmm, do we do that now or do we do that later? And the other issue is ink sacks, which we don't have a way to farm either, I think. Yeah, they only come from mob drops or from black wool. Uh, do we have access to a whoops to a type of black dye? Okay, there is black dye from black lotus. Craft black wool, black clay, or anything else. Uh, the black lotus is everything you need. Look around the wild. Uh, right, so it's just a flower, but we can't, it doesn't look like we can put that through the um, phytogenic uh, grower. So we probably just won't worry about that. Uh, yeah, we'll just put these in as is and we'll just have to manually uh, provide the dyes that we need for now anyway. I might work on that uh, phytogenic stuff later on. Uh, so we'll teach it the launch pad, and then we can craft some. Alright, so 20 of them, and then we also need a structure tower. Uh, structure tower, this guy, which is made from steel rods. Okay. 
Uh, so, steel rods we can craft now. So, give me 10 of them. And one will do for a start. Okay, so we'll just teach it this recipe as well. And that should be fine. So that'll get us the basic frame of our our um, launch pad. So the next thing we need is the rocket assembling machine. Uh, so rocket assembling machine. Machine structure, titanium user interface, concrete, titanium gear. So I think we'll auto craft this as well just because I want to. Uh, so if we clear that, oops, uh, rocket, assembling machine, and we need titanium gears, which we haven't taught it how to make yet. Is that missing a titanium ingot? Sure. So we should set up a uh, rolling machine to make this because it is slightly cheaper, but for now I don't feel like doing that. So we'll just do it in the crafting grid. Uh, so we'll teach it that. Teach it that as well. And then we'll just make a titanium gear. I'm uh, guessing it's crafting more plates. Yeah. Okay. I might just craft one of them too, just to make sure it's got what it needs. Uh, so, rocket assembling machine. Good. Uh, so, teach him that. And then we'll just craft one. Uh, can we see it in here? Rocket assembling machine. Good, so we'll get one of them. Uh, we probably don't need the unmanned vehicle assembler. I'm not sure if that's actually useful. I think that might be something that you build on the space station. I'm not, yeah. I'm not 100% sure, because it's not a rocket. I think it's for making... Um, I really don't know. Maybe it's for making like buggies or something. Uh, we also need our, not an atmosphere analyzer, uh, one of the other ones which we might not have made yet. Uh, advanced rocketry. Uh, not the analyzer. Not the biome changer. Mass detector, no, there should be another remote that I'm missing. Seal detector. Uh, where is it? I'm looking straight at it somewhere, aren't I? Goggles. That guy, those are all the components for the suit. User interface, I am blind, where? Where is it? Sapling structure block. These are all components. It's an actual satellite. Uh, the armor, the chips, jetpack. I swear it's not that analyzer. There's some, there's another remote. that I'm missing. Uh, remote controller. Uh, um, assembly something. No, I don't know. Don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. 
Uh, oh, right, we actually need to make a few of those. Um, uh, where are they? The structure towers. Give us 10 for a start. Eight, and it'll make the rods and then make another eight. Yep. Good. Okay. We might need a few more of our platforms as well, but yeah, we'll see how we go. All right. So I'm going to stick this in the ground. So it's level with the ground. And how big can we make this? How big do we want to make this for our first rocket, I guess is the question. Um, let's do a 5x5. Five five. Just as a start, we'll expand this as we go. Whoops. Alright, good. Uh, we'll do the controller on, let's say, this side. So we need the rocket assembling machine. It's got to be like one block up from the launch pad. So its back is onto the top of the launch pad like that. Uh, the fueling station I think can sit pretty much anywhere that's nearby. And these structure towers, let's put him here. Uh, the bottom block of it has to be on the same Y level as the launch pad. And then we just build it up. And so the height of this is the max height of our rocket and the dimensions of the launch pad are the max sort of width and depth of the rocket. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll make a ten tall rocket that could be up to five wide. We'll probably just do a three wide rocket to start with. Uh, but that should be it. So if we click this and scan, uh, I'm guessing it's going to sit there and do nothing because there's nothing in here to scan. Oh wait, it needs power. Actually, that's what it needs first. Um, okay. How do we want to do this? So the issue is it also needs fuel. So what's the best way to handle this? We could run ME cable over here, but I don't think we need anything other than fuel. So maybe a better idea would be to set up another transceiver. Um, so we've got our one set up top here. Uh, where to put him over here. So he's a power transceiver. Oh man. Uh, so what we could also do is build another one. Uh, transceiver. So we'll get one that will output fuel into and one that will set up over there. So if I can build us two of them, I guess that'll take a little bit of time. Uh, so let's also get a, a fluid export. Fluid export bus to output the fuel. Uh, and we'll also need some cables. So where are we going to put it first? Uh, the heck was that sound? It's really strange. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we could put it down with the gray cable to use up another channel of that. Um, alternatively, we could do something here. Yeah, this guy has a free channel. Why don't we do it here? Uh, so if we set this guy up. we want to set it up there? I don't know where we want to set it up. Where like the best place for it would be. Actually, I guess if this is using 
I believe this is using seven channels, right? One, two, three on the back, four, five, six. Is it only using six channels? Ah, uh, yes, because it was potentially going to use eight if it needed to input and output items here. Okay. So we do have a spare channel here. So maybe we'll set the transceiver up like on top of here. And like we could be more efficient and move that guy over here, but eh, I don't mind keeping them separate. Uh, so we got two dimensional transceivers. That's good. We're gonna set one of them up here. Now he needs to, uh, let's see, I think he needs to receive power to turn on just for his internal power. And then he is going to send fluid. So we're going to set up a rocket fuel uh, fluid line at channel. He's going to send rocket fuel. Uh, so if we grab the rocket fuel, uh, hydrogen rocket fuel. Okay, so does he have an internal tank or anything? I don't think so. If we go down and have a look, I hope it's not just emptying fuel into the void now. Doubt it will. 61 buckets of rocket fuel. Okay, good. So assuming that's connected up properly, we should be able to go and oh man, it's a bit laggy. The frame rate issues are back. They're alright if we go over here though, so we'll build the rocket over here. Okay, so we want this guy to receive from main battery, which should power these. So now that's scanning. And I believe it's going to end up saying, oh, we're missing a guidance computer. Sure. Uh, this guy's got power too. Uh, so we want to set this to receive rocket fuel. And it filled up with rocket fuel. Excellent. All right, good. So that is now set up. We should be able to just build a rocket. So to do that, uh, let's clear that out. Let's put this stuff away. Wait, is that... That's what I need, the linker. Oh, it was down here. Okay. It's part of the lib vulps, not the other thing. So I think if we shift right click on him and then right click on him. Shift click. Ah, okay, yeah. So that's linked him to him. Good. So I think you can link the fueling station to the rocket or the fueling station to the assembly machine, which can't, links it to the rocket. I think this is fine. Uh, so good. That should be linked now. I'm going to put that in here in case we need it for something else. So now we can look at building a rocket. So we need um, thrusters and stuff. So actually, how are we doing for time? Uh, okay, let's um let's cut here so that I get a nice clean um uh, cut when I edit this video and um when we come back we'll actually make the rocket. So alright guys, I'll see you then.